Praise him. Glory to Jesus. Good night, members of the Sons of the One True and Living God Ministry. And to all our viewers, amen. I want you to begin to tell somebody that Prophet Junior is on. Begin to call your friends, your families, gather around. Amen. God has an important word for you right now, for this hour. I want to pray with you and cover you and see the power of the Lord move upon you. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Hallelujah. The scriptures are looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. There is no God like unto him. There is none before him. He is the great I am that I am, Heavenly Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, to all of our viewers, I pray that the power of the Holy Ghost is going to reach them where they are. That you, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, is going to touch them. O oh God, and you're going to move upon them by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arrest them. Let the atmosphere be charged over them by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray move in the name and power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Now, I just want to give a few demonstrations to those that are, are joining us. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And I, I just want to talk about a few, amen, prophecies, amen, that God has been speaking, amen, for this past year, and even from old years coming to prophecies that have been fulfilled, and that we have seen happen, amen, amen, and some that uh, it has happened to a certain level, and is waiting to fully be fulfilled. Feel. Amen, somebody. Amen. Prophecies happen in stages. Amen, somebody. Glory to Jesus. And hallelujah, Miss Prophecies. Amen, somebody. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. We want to speak about them a little bit tonight. And so the Lord spoke. Amen. Amen. That there shall be for Amen. Arise in the prisons and in the streets and amen and worldwide rioting and which is taking place now due to COVID-19 and this is one prophecy that I've been fulfilled amen somebody now there's still a different level for this prophecy to be fulfilled but nevertheless amen somebody it have already started happening amen somebody amen somebody the Lord told us also to pray against an early rainy season and uh, they showed us in the East Pacific amen ocean amen somebody which is in our region where amen our hurricane and storms and tropical depression comes from the amen they, they see such early development amen first ever recorded so early systems begin to form in this new year the rain that we got last week in the southland they said those type of amen development usually happens in September and October amen somebody so we are seeing fulfillment we see a curfew have been put in place that have been fulfilled we see gang wars in schools and innocent paying for the guilty. We see people heads being cut off. We see people coming in to people's homes and shooting them and killing them. Amen. Many of you have viewed the funeral of Amen of the young, Amen of the brother and sister who were killed in your home. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Somebody. The Lord sent fires. Amen. Earthquake, storm, pestilence in the nations and in the world. We saw fires in Australia. Amen. Amen, somebody. And they couldn't be out of. And the rain came. Flood came. And rain. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. We saw earthquakes and diversity of places. Amen, somebody. Amen. Glory to Jesus. The Lord said a swift destruction over the nation of the earth. And this is being fulfilled right now. Amen. Amen. The Lord said those who deny my name and committed spiritual adultery and caused the sheep to go astray he said i will expose apostles and teachers and evangelists and who prophesy lies and the law will cut them down for his name's sake even those who seek to hear lies and my hand is against them amen 
Amen. Uh, this is what the Lord is saying. This is being fulfilled right now. Again, amen. This prophecy is being fulfilled. Those who deny my name and have committed spiritual adultery and have caused the sheep to go astray, I will expose them. Amen, somebody. Apostles, teachers, evangelists, uh, prophets who prophesy lies. Uh, amen. <laughs> Glory in the name of the Lord. He said he will cut them down for his name's sake and even those hallelujah, who seek to hear lies he said my hand is against them amen this is being fulfilled right now hallelujah a next prophecy that's being fulfilled is that behold say the Lord I have I have spoken in in a time, glory to Jesus, amen, to be matter, amen, hallelujah. I have spoken in a time, and I have remained silent to look down to see what my people is doing. Amen, hallelujah. He said, I am going to speak now by the waters, by fire, by winds, by the Fear, and I will speak by sorrow, by the sword, for they have uh, no respect nor honor for my servants. They have uh, tormented and crucified them with their words and heaped to themselves. Teachers have been itching ears. We see for years China have been crucifying Christians, and that's where the coronavirus spring up. And every time they try to reopen their, their nation, the, the, the coronavirus keep coming and shutting them down. Glory to Jesus, Lamb of God. This world is being fulfilled right now. Amen. 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 The Lord said that there will be a lot of tremors before a great earthquake in our nation. Amen. In the past few weeks, we have been experiencing a lot of tremors. Amen. And we got to pray against, amen, this earthquake in this time. Amen. There are things that God told us to pray against. And things we cannot pray against. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Praise Him. So there are things that we can pray against and things that we cannot pray against. Amen. 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 God spoke about the second wave in our nation. We can pray against this. Amen. We can pray against it. Amen. 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 We can pray for a vaccine. The Lord said that a vaccine will come. Amen. But He said before the vaccine comes, many lives will be lost and the earth will be shaken Amen. by this virus Amen. as we see it happening right now. Amen. 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 And uh, in the, the second stage of prophecy, there are warnings and judgments over the land. And the Lord said, I am about to do a swift work. A swift destruction over the land. Swift uprising is about to take place. He said, blood is about to be shed. The innocent shall pay for the guilty. But those that are called by my name must be covered. Let the dead angel take your children and your children's children. Amen. Amen. Lest you partake of it. He said there is going to be gang wars within the schools and swift destruction on the seed of the wicked. And the government shall lay them flat on their backs. This prophecy was fulfilled earlier on. Last Amen. Last year. And it was continuing to be fulfilled before schools Amen. were closed. Amen. Amen. And these are warnings and judgments. Amen. He said, Behold, say the Lord, it shall come from the air to see the earth and from within. And who shall see the hour of my judgment and how it shall come? But you must be prepared. So God's people, God is warning his people to be prepared. Amen. Now the second way that the Lord told us we can pray about and pray against and cover ourselves to be forewarned 
is to be forearmed. Amen. So God is forewarning his people and has been arming his people with spiritual weapons and with his word of life. Amen. And guiding and instructing his people in this time and this hour. Amen. Now the COVID-19, amen, the second wave can come in the country is reopened. Amen. The country must be reopened. It shall be reopened. Amen. And it can be worse then than now. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Pneumonia, over 400 and something deaths have been recorded as I read the front page of the Guardian. And it's, it's kind of strange and it happened within the past two months, the same time coronavirus came into the nation. Amen. And I read articles of scientists and researchers that said that the coronavirus have three strains, Amen. which required three different types of testing. Amen. That's why they are still working on testing to get quicker results and accurate results throughout the world. Amen. 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 And which as is a virus that attacked the lungs. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And it is kind of strange that we have over 400 and something deaths recorded in two months' time of this respiratory disease. Amen. Upon the lungs. Amen. 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 It's a question, is it related to the coronavirus? Amen. Amen. Now we have a new case that came up today, this morning, 116 cases. Amen. Amen. How much people this person have been in contact with? Amen. Hallelujah. They are still waiting on the second wave because the people that have got in the nation, mm -hmm. how much people, amen, these then came in in ships amen. and in uh, planes, but we are speaking about the people that they got from amongst the communities. Hallelujah. Amen. How many people have these people been in contact with? Amen, Amen somebody. And who have they spread it to? Amen. Amen. And they're still waiting for the second wave. That's why they haven't opened up the nation as yet. Amen. But we as God's people got to be prepared. prepared. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And uh, God is warning those that are leading the sheep astray in this time. Those who say are prophets and apostles and are not. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise him. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. The Lord said, Behold, as we speak, there are bombs being planted in America. Amen. To do the worst, to be worse than before. And so, apologizing against America, we need to pray for America. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That America does not be attacking this time by bombs Preacher. and by war. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. From foreign nations. Amen. Hallelujah. Preacher. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. I promise this for God's people. He said, Those who are called by my name shall arise, he shall arise over them. And the Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. He said, Those who have placed their names within me, those names that are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, he said, I will fight and protect them, I will lead them, I will go before them with a mighty hand to deliver them. He said, for those who have held unto me, I will be a lamp unto their path and a light unto their feet. He said, for those who trust in me, I will be in them and before them as a sword to deliver them from the snares of the fowler. He said, those that have paid my name, I will arise upon them. I will send upon them the spirit of power 
Hallelujah. That the, amen, an authority to restore. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Their hearts of their children. Amen, unto the Lord. Their parents unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. He said, I will do a swift work. Amen. Amen. These are the promises of God at this time to God's people. Amen. 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 He said, I will to bring restoration to those who wait on me. As Isaiah said, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk on my faith. Amen. 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 He said, those who have been my examples. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus. He said, I will arise in you. That the time to be a light, a beacon of hope. He said, you shall be. Amen. Amen. And he said, you shall reap bountifully. Amen. 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 The kingdom of heaven, the economy of heaven is not subjected. Hallelujah. To the economy of the earth. He said, unto he that is able to do it suddenly, abundantly, above all that we can think or dream or ask for, he is our Lord. Amen. He is our God. Amen. 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 So I wanted to do a, a, an example concerning the spiritual water. First Corinthians chapter 10, verses 4. Mm -hmm. But the apostle Paul said, that he, Christ, is that rock that was in the wilderness. Whom? Whom? Spiritual water. Flood out of. Wherever you are, I want you to get hold of your spiritual water. Get hold of your spiritual water. Begin to share it. Begin to, amen, let people know. Get hold of your spiritual water right now. Those that are facing conflict, disease, poverty, affliction, spiritual warfare, witchcraft, sorcery, necromancy, satanic powers. For the battle is the Lord's and the victory belongs to us. When the devil shall come in as a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall raise a standard for the Father has highly exalted him and has given him a name and has far above every other name and at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord the prophet Isaiah said who's the poor shall you believe unto whom is the arm of the Lord Hallelujah. Many people have been calling me, trying to get you with me, trying to schedule appointments with me. And what I have done, I have instructed to give the membership of this ministry and the people who have been faithful and committed in this ministry. First preference with the spiritual water and the covering. Amen. As you know, churches are locked down, the buildings are closed. So we are trying to draw attention to ourselves. And as you also know that there are people in our community, amen somebody, that, that amen, that calls the police station at this, see any type of church function trying to happen, amen somebody. Amen. 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 So we have to be wise and use spiritual tactics. Amen. Most of God over the lives of God's people. Many people have sent me videos of people possessed and want help. People sick. People in the hospitals. Amen. But God has given us a time and a season. He has prepared us for this time. Amen. To meet the needs of the people. 
And amen, a lot of testimonies came in with the spiritual water. Amen, even some of, amen, amen, hallelujah, shared your water with others. Through compassion and miracles happen. Healings happen. People came out of coma. People, demons begin to come out of them unclean spirits. As they drown, they begin to vomit out unclean spirits in your home. They're not afraid. The text me, I said, be not afraid. Amen. It is not me that is healing you. Preacher. But Jesus Christ. Amen. This water is just a symbol of who he is. Amen. That you might have faith and know that he is still speaking in this time. Some people say, but this is all testament thing. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We're not reading the script of the New Testament. First Corinthians 10 verses 4 is a New Testament scripture. It's a New Testament thing. Acts chapter 19 verses 11 is a New Testament thing. Peter, by his channel, he and the sick casting out devils is a New Testament thing. What happened in the New Testament church is we have been separated from the life and the power of the Holy Ghost and we have become worldly and logical and yet not receiving the spiritual works of God. We are not being baptized by the Holy Ghost and fire. We are not receiving the empowerment of God. John, amen. 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 Hallelujah. You can be living in the church, you can know the pastor, you can know the prophet, you can be close to them, you can be well versed in scripture, but uh, you don't want to be spiritual. Amen. 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 When you are spiritual, you are one of faith. You have something moving you, driving you. I'm going to get your water, get your water. Get your water. And those that are viewing, you're going to repeat after me and share the videos. Amen. Amen. God is about to do special miracles for you. Amen. To the time of the spiritual water. There are some people that will need a second bottle. Those that are facing spiritual warfare. Amen. Amen. As I've been praying nightly, Christ is the anointing of the anointed one. Amen. And he shall break the yoke. Amen. This water is by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Comforter, whom Jesus has sent, and the Archangel of the last church age. Hallelujah! Who God has sent for this age, according to Revelation chapter 3, from verses 14. Hallelujah! So those of you that have your water, and you can repeat after me, as we have blessed this water, and you can say, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, not of sickness, not of disease, not of demon spirits, not of witches, not of wizards, not of warlocks. Not of sickness, not of disease. It belongs to Jesus Christ. It has been bought with a price. It has been purchased by the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever is not of God in my body, in the mighty name of Jesus, by Christ, the anointed one. Who have given up to me the spirit of water? Whatever is wrong in my family, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command it out for my blood, my fluid, my finances, my home. Satan, you are defeated in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare freedom. I declare deliverance. of my testimony 
I thank you, Lord Jesus, for being that rock yes. whom spiritual water flowed out of. As I drink, I drink of my deliverance. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. And so, in this light manner of prayer and faith, as you have received the spirit of water, you have received your miracle. So have you received your healing. So you have received your deliverance. So God is going to move for you. If you have not gotten your spirit of water, make sure you do, make sure you make your appointment. Make sure you call Sister Kelly. Make your appointments. Amen. Amen. Now there are other people that have been asking for anointed oil. It took us a lot of time to get bottles. There are some of you who have brought back your bottles and we have about maybe about 15 there. Amen. But we had to go quite Shagaramas area to get bottles. Amen. Amen. And the bottles were more expensive than we normally paid for them. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. And even to get the ingredients of the oil was ten times hard and everything is more expensive. Amen. 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 And so you can get it for a gift. Remember, this oil is limited. So move quickly. And make your appointment to come and collect your oil on Thursday. Amen. On Thursday, I will be distributing oil only on Thursday. Amen. Make your appointments to come and collect them. Amen. 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 If you have not gotten through with Sister Kelly, you can speak to Sister Anissa and contact her. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. To tell them how much bottles you need so we can set them aside under a certain name. Amen. And they will give you the information necessary. The bottles are limited. Amen. But you need this anointing. I represent Christ Amen. to do spiritual warfare in your home and your family. Amen. I look at a video and a man possessed calling in the streets today. Amen. So much spiritual warfare, spiritual battles, demon spirits. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against the rulers of the darkness of this world and against spiritual hosts of wickedness and high places, against witches, against wizards, against warlocks, against sorcerers, against necromancers. Now the governments have their place on the earth. It is God who put them up there and it is God who will pull them down. It is God who establishes all things. We as God's people have our work to do and we got to keep doing it. Keep praying, keep fasting, keep seeking God, keep giving, keep believing. Amen, somebody. Keep preaching. Come on. Give and ask God for inspiration and spiritual strategy. Amen. To do His work on the earth. Amen. Amen. We thank God for all of God's people, those of you who have donated hampers mm -hmm. and finances to purchase hampers. Mm -hmm. Amen. We have met the needs. Amen, somebody. Amen. Of many homes. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. And if there's anyone of the need, even if you belong to the ministry, contact. Amen, somebody. Contact Sister Lisa again or contact Sister Kelly. Give them a name or a number Amen. to contact the people that I need. Amen. Amen. Sure. Uh, or even and we'll send it to Minister Leo. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 Sure. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If you can afford to give and to help someone in need, do so. Sure. Amen. Remember the message as well. Keep the hand of Moses up. Keep your ministry running. Those of you that can continue to pledge towards the building. Amen. If you can continue to tie, to give, keep walk, God will go and amen somebody. Amen. And those who do not have, we will continue to assist them in any way possible. Amen somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are fulfilling God's work in every area. 
and preaching and praying and casting out devils and healing the sick and giving and meeting the needs and the necessity of the saints spiritually and physically. Amen. Amen. Those of you that can't make it to the ministry, amen, the bank account number of the Sons of the One True and Living God ministry, it is there for you to put it there, contact someone, tell them the reason you are giving it for. Amen. Amen. Good job. Thank you, Jesus. We just want to, to get into a, a quick message. Very quick, amen, somebody, in the first book of Amen. Chronicles chapter 21. Hallelujah. Uh, get your Bibles. Amen, somebody. John, amen. Get the scripture quickly. And the Bible said, And Satan stood up against Israel and provoked David to number Israel. Again, Satan stood up against Israel. I want you to understand. In this time. Amen somebody. Where even the Lord spoke about for us. That there will be a shortage of food. Amen somebody. You see. Amen. Hallelujah. The world. Amen. Hallelujah. Is saying that we can have a farming of biblical proportion. We see Bill Gates buying up all the seeds. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All this is prophecy being fulfilled. Amen. Hallelujah. Good job. Those of you who have not repent, you have not gone back to your own. Come out of adultery and fornication. Do it quickly before it's too late, before you fall under the wrath of God. Before Satan eat you up. The pleasure of sin is only for a season. Amen. But the wages of sin is dead. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As you begin to read, <laughs> glory to Jesus. <laughs> In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, he begin to tell the church, every church age repent. Glory to Jesus. And we're going to get into that. Satan is going to stand up against the church to get us to fall into sin. Amen. Does he always attack? The first thing he attacks is your faith. Amen. He wants you to begin to moan up, to complain, to lose all the mountain, to look at your situation. God is greater than your mountain. Take note of that. God is greater than your mountain. Jesus said, if you are faith as small as a mustard seed, and you speak unto any mountain, a child of you. Man, are you looking at and feeling sorry for yourself? Or you're sick, you have this pain, you have this problem, you have this financial issue, you have this Begin to stir up your pure mind by losing your pain. Amen, somebody. You say in faith and demonstrate in faith. It's two different things. A man can say, I have faith. Go some scripture, go and shout. Speak some tower. I didn't do nothing yet. Faith is proving God. Believe in God. Even if you can see or hear or understand what is happening. But you're still holding on to God and stepping and pushing and going forward until a miracle happens. Amen. That's why the Bible says our faith is the substance. What is that substance? What God has promised. Oh, yeah, all we read God promises to his people. Faith is the substance. 11 from verses 1. Faith, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. God has given us hope. That hope is that substance, the promised word of God. But it is the evidence of things that cannot be seen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. So the evidence cannot be seen with natural logic, with natural sight. Amen. 
Amen. By natural means. Amen. The evidence must be seen by the Spirit of God. Amen. By the Spirit of faith. Come on. Amen. The Bible said God is love. Amen. That is a character of God. But God is also faith. The Bible said by faith through his word the walls were framed. There is nothing in your life that God can't frame, provide, deliver you, change, transform. It's either you choose to believe in life rather than the truth or you love sin more than you love God. You can love a woman more than you love God. You can love a man more than you love God. You can love a car, a drama. You can love her. The Bible said we worship the creation more than the creator. There are many that say, yes, Lord, I'm going to do it. And when the time comes, for they can do it. They have not done it, and they will pay a price for it. Some doesn't survive Amen. after they have paid the price. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the Bible said Satan stood up against Israel. Again, many people think because, listen, I'm a child of God, Satan cannot stand up to me. Amen. Yes, the Bible says Satan can stand up to you. The Bible says he's as a royal lion seeking whom he shall devour. The Bible says he is a thief when he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But the Bible says that we must resist the devil and he shall flee. How do we resist him? We gotta keep fighting him, keep fighting fear, keep fighting doubt, keep fighting unbelief, keep fighting the fleshly desires, keep fighting the thoughts, the emotions, and it's not of God. And hold on to the knowledge of God. Come on, he said, my word. It's not grievous, neither is it harmful. Come on, somebody. But the reason we cannot keep his word, because we rather darkness, we rather the pleasure of sin more than the light, more than righteousness, more than holiness. And we can find every logical excuse. God is not a God of logic, he's a God of faith. And so he that God. He is God. And that He is a reward. Seek me. The Bible said, Now faith is the substance again of things hopeful. Come on. And when you come to God, you must believe in what He says. And seek after it. He is a rewarder of them. That did it gently seeking. We walk by faith and not by sight. Satan is gonna oppose you. Amen. He's gonna stand against you. Amen. Paul said, I Paul wrestle with the beast of the messes. Paul said, a messenger of Satan. Satan a messenger. There are many people say, I'm a child of God, Satan can come to me, can stop being ignorant Amen. of the shutting the vice of the enemy. Amen. Many, there are many of God's people, prophets, pastors, leaders. Mm -hmm. We think because we can't be not assembling in church, it's time to relax. Amen. It's come on, we're using this as a vocation away from God. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. We're not calling our leader. God say, what you want me to do? Is there anything I can do? I know we do have church Wednesday. I know we do have church Monday. Saturday. But what does God say? What does God want us to do? What, what can we do right now in this time to keep God working? Come on, somebody. Glory to Jesus. Amen, somebody. They're not taking the initiative. They're not showing no passion, no hunger. And he said, blessed are they who do hunger and thirst at the right hand. Right now, God is looking at the heart. Amen. Preacher. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. No way that because the closed down doesn't mean that you are closed down. Amen. And your work and your job is closed down. Amen. 
When you if you are an usher, a song leader, a prayer invoker, a teacher, a member, whether you as your job as a ministry of gift, uh, amen, amen. God has placed you in a position where your ministry is giving, supporting the work of God. Come on, somebody. It's not time to lax because God's work is still going on. Come on. Amen. And when he destroy you and he attack your home, your family, your marriage, your body. Come on, somebody. You're desperately seeking a word from God, or you're seeking a word from the prophet of God, and you're seeking out a ministry. And so many times I have found myself I can't help people, no matter what I pray and fast, because they have taken God for Amen. And Paul said, I'm afraid of you. That you have taken the grace of God for granted. Amen. 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 This is what happened to David. David laughs many times. David laughs. God raised up David as a warrior. As a conqueror. God raised up David to bring back the Ark of the Covenant back to Israel. Which was stolen by the enemies. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now David could not have built the house of God because there was blood in his hands. Yeah. His son Solomon was called to do that. But God raised up David with an anointing to do battle. Yeah. God had put an anointing in this ministry to battle. Yeah. And when ministry and the leaders begin to relax and start doing battle. Picture. You're going to get spiritually lazy. Amen. 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 Your sword is going to get rusty. Come on. Your shield is going to start to get heavy. Picture. And Satan will plug your demands. Amen. Come on. Amen. David, when David came out in adultery, it's because he started to get lazy. Amen. He was feeling the rest, he was feeling tired. Come on. There are people that start to work for God in, in ministry. And over a year, two years, three years, four years, they start to get tired. Amen. And, and when you hear that song, I'm getting tired, I'm frustrated, I'm feeling heavy, I'm feeling when it, it's backsliding, start to happen. Picture. Spiritual backsliding, spiritual adultery. Amen. Because they have lost their joy, they have lost their first love. The things of God don't have the interest or the value it once had for them. Amen. Come on. And they start to get the look, and these are the tactics of the enemy. The, the, the lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. Come on. Amen. If you send a woman or a man to get you, come on. He begin to open your eyes. To, look at the, look at that. Look at that one have a new car, and you now own it. You serve God for 10 years. Look at that one house building and, and you in church praying, praying, praying and you working for, for God. Look at that one getting blessed and God ain't doing nothing for you. Come on somebody. Amen. Come on somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. You begin to, the lust of the flesh begin to operate in you, which is the nature of man. The nature of the old man. And you begin to walk upon the lust of the eyes begin to show things and the pride of life. And your joy and your love begin to change and begin to, to shift. That's it. That's, yeah, that's it. All of a sudden, that you're too tired to do God work. You're too busy. You're too frustrated. You have so much to overwhelm you. And Satan begins to destroy you. Amen. That's when David committed adultery. Come on. Come on. Amen. And he tried to hide it. And he sent you right in the forefront of the battle to make sure he died. But what the prophet didn't see, what man didn't see, God sees. Amen. I know. Come on. And God is looking upon his people right now to see what they are doing for him. Amen. How they are standing for him. Come on. Amen. What they are building right now, what they are establishing right now, what they are seeking right now. The Bible says. Come on, Satan stood up against Israel. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. I provoked David. My God. When the Bible says he provoked him, he tempted him. Amen. He 
brought doubt in David's heart. He brought fear in David's heart. Mm -hmm. He brought unbelief. Okay, listen to me. David was a, a man of battle and warfare, but David began to rest. Amen. Come on, amen. David, he didn't see battle for a while. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. She started to get complacent. Picture. Come on, somebody. Amen. We not service for a while. We didn't see a demon manifest for a while. Hmm. Maybe you ain't get sick for a while. Picture. Come on. Maybe something bad will happen in your life for a while, bless God. Mm. But do not get complacent. Amen. Come on, that's right. Preach on. David got complacent and Satan raised up and stood up against Israel and began to provoke and tempt him. Amen. He caught him off guard. Amen. Must you take note, don't be caught off guard in this season. Yeah. Wherever you are, do not be caught off guard. Your deliverer is not man. It is Jesus. Your provider is not man. It is Jesus. Amen. Your way maker is not man. It is Jesus. Amen. Your healer is not man. It is Jesus. Amen. Looking unto Jesus. Who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Now, Hallelujah! Amen. David was not tempted. But David forgot who he was in Christ. Amen. While enjoying who he has become as a king. What was given to him? The blessing that came his way. Amen. He was so full of it and enjoying that. Amen. That he forgot the way he got it. And how he got it. Amen. He didn't got it by his own strength. He didn't got it by his own mind. Amen. You and I are not surviving by our strength, by our ability, by our capacity, by our education, by our job. We are surviving because of God. In him we live, in him we breathe, by him we consist, and by his we are kept. Amen. Amen. David became king. Not because of who he was physically. Amen. But was, amen somebody. He became king because of who he was in the spirit. Amen. Come on, amen. Mm. I said the Bible said, walk in the spirit. That you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Do not get complacent. Praise Him. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Satan, I'm risen up against you right now. Do not be tempted to fear. Amen. Do not be tempted to doubt. Amen. Do not be tempted how great your enemy is. Come on, somebody. Amen. Listen why David was tempted. Hallelujah. And David said to Johar and to the rulers of the people, Go, number Israel from Bathsheba even to Dan and bring the number of them to me that I may know it. And Joab, a mighty, valiant man of power, great in battle, and he had the wisdom of God. And Solomon said, The Lord made his people a hundred times so many more than they be. It means the army that was coming after Israel and David, amen, outnumbered them a hundred times. And George said, David, our God, don't make us 
hard to hear the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. David had a heart like unto God's own heart. As you will see why. You know why David had a heart like unto God's own heart? Come on, somebody. Amen. You know what's the difference between David and the generation we have? David knew how to repent. Come this generation, we have we are full of pride. And when God sent a message to us, come on, we begin to say, who do you think he is? Who do you think she is? Amen. He's a man like me and me. He's a sinner too. Mm. I see you doing this too. I see you doing that too. Amen. That's not the point. The point is, has God said it or not? Amen. Is it from God or not? Amen. Is it truth or not? Amen. But your pride and your ego stopping you from truly repenting. And David knew how to truly repent. That's why David can write a prayer like, like this. Come on, somebody. Create within me a clean heart. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. We be a generation and every time we are corrected, there's an excuse. And the spirit of humility is not there. David could have out, uh, he could have admitted his failures, his shortcomings, his sin, rather than trying to cover it up and plaster it up because he was able to admit it, because he was able to confess it, because he was able to be open and honest with himself. He was able to grow and become stronger and become wiser and find favor with God and forgiveness with God. Even while committing adultery, he was still able to find mercy. Praise him. Hallelujah. That's why he can write a prayer. Create within me. He was able to, he was quick to truly repent. He was he didn't repent him because of or because if somebody looking more. He was repented because of amen somebody because he wanted to please a man or please. He, he repented earnestly, sincerely. He wanted to make it right with God quickly. He he wanted to, to be obedient to God. Amen somebody. He he didn't want to amen somebody to find himself in a place that so found himself with rejected of God. People don't understand that they can find themselves in a place that God can reject you. They were preaching that has lied to many people. Come on, then you can find yourself in a place rejected of God. If you read the Holy Scriptures and the New Testament, the Bible and God gave them up to a reprobate mind. Who that God gave up to a reprobate mind? Them who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Those who have seared their conscious convictions of coming. They know what's right and they continue to do what's wrong. And God can reject you. And David didn't want to be rejected of God. That's why David could have prayed a prayer of repentance. Create within me a clean heart. Hallelujah. O Lord. And renew within me the right spirit. Hallelujah. Cast me not away from thy presence, O Lord. But restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. David sinned against God the moment he numbered his well. Amen. Because David never won a battle by how much soldiers he had. He never won a battle by how much gold and silver and copper and money that he had. He never won a battle by how much he was educated and how much wisdom that he had and knowledge that he had. He won the battle that he won was by God. And every battle that we are going to win in this time and the rest of our life will be because of God. The battle is the Lord and the victory belongs to us when the devils are coming as a threat. The spirit of the Lord shall raise us. He said, no weapon and a storm against us. It shall not prosper. And every tongue and rise up in judgment shall be made contained. It is not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit. 
David sinned against the Lord. Come on, somebody. Amen. When he numbered Israel. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. But suppose that nevertheless the king's word prevailed against Joab. Wherefore Joab departed and went toward all Israel and came to Jerusalem to give the sum of the people. And the sum of soldiers were one million one hundred thousand soldiers that David had. Amen. 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 One million one hundred. Amen, somebody. Hallelujah. Soldiers that David had. Amen. Army that was coming. Outnumbered them. Yeah. And David looked at the great mountain that was before him. The great warrior that was coming. And he forgot who was his warrior. He forgot who fought for him. He forgot who was his deliverer. Amen. But as I said, David was quick to repent always. Amen. Amen, somebody. As we read from verse 7, and God was displeased with this thing, therefore he smote Israel. Come on, when you begin to lose faith, that which is not of faith is sin. Amen. Come on. And if you are operating in sin but by fear, by doubt, by panic, by unbelief, by sin, come on somebody, by that which is not of God, only that which is of God will stand. Come on somebody, come on somebody. And if we are on the rock and what we are doing is not of God and we are being led by our emotions and our feelings and we are being led by men and by social media and not by God, we are tempting God and we are leaving avenues open for the devil to enter, to destroy us. And the Bible said, and God was displeased with this thing. Therefore he smote Israel. And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly because I have done this thing. Come on, say, amen. So what was the sin? He, he counted how much amen. soldiers he had to see if he was able to measure up to the soldiers that was coming. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Jesus. And uh, the the battle that we go to win is not by how great our enemy is. Sure. It's not by how much our enemy is doing. Amen. It's not the show that the devil is putting on. Amen. It's not how much soldiers that he has. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. It's by the king of glory. Sure. That's why David could have wrote, who is the king of glory? The Lord God Almighty, the Lord God mighty in battle, the Lord of hosts is his name. That's why Elisha, when he prayed and opened his servant eyes, because the servant was afraid, because the Samaritans, the army of Samaria, and God them. And when God opened the servant eyes, he saw angels on chariots of fire, and Elijah told them, tell not, there are more that are with us than they that are against you. Our God is able in this time to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all, and we can take or dream or ask for. Amen. Come on, praise you. Come on. Amen. 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 And this time you have received calls from Jamaica. Amen. Texas and our ministry paid from Jamaica. Amen. Calls from America. Amen. People that are viewing our ministry. Responses from the UK. From Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. The message is reaching them, touching them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And David said unto God, I have sinned. It's so quick, David. Realize, I have sinned. I have sinned. I have sinned. Greatly. Because I have done this thing. But now, I beseech thee to do away with the iniquity of thy servant. For I have done very foolishly. And the Lord spoke unto God. David, see his prophet saying, Go and tell David, saying, Thus say the Lord, 
I offer thee three things. Choose the one of them, that I may do it unto thee. Now again, God was testing David's faith. Come on. Amen. Because it's, it's, you, it's one thing to repent. You can repent and still don't have faith. Come on, somebody. Amen. You can repent and see where you went wrong, but still fail the test again. You know, people like know who repent and, and, and still fail the same test over and over? Faith is the ability to obey God. Faith is the ability to trust God. Faith is the ability to believe God. Faith is the ability to go forward without seeing anything. Only depending on God. It is a spiritual ability. It is a fruit of the spirit. It is a tool of the spirit. That's why Paul says we have the same spirit of faith. Therefore we believe and therefore we speak. Speak what you believe. See it manifest. Walk into what you believe. See it. Come alive. Amen. 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 God gave David options. And I want you to see what David chose. Come on, somebody. Amen. Go and tell David, say, Thus say the Lord, I offer thee three things. Choose thee one of them, that I may do it unto thee. So God came to David. And said unto him, Thus in the Lord, choose thee, either three years of farming or three months to be destroyed before thy foes. So he, he, he gave him three years of farming, three months to be destroyed by thy foes, mm -hmm. while what the sword, while the sword of thy enemies overtake thee. So, the first one is three years of farming, three months with a sword of an enemy overtaking you. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, the lockdown of our nation and the sword of our enemy has been over this nation two months now, since March. April, we are going into May. And this three months is like it. Until this three months of the nation is facing right now. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on. Mm -hmm. And if we look closely at the spiritual principle, the shutting down of our nation can last for three months. But it doesn't mean the battle is over. Mm -hmm. With COVID-19 or satanic powers. Mm -hmm. Come on, someone. Mm -hmm. Come on. Reason. It means many are sinned a great sin and need to repent. And God has given us three months to do so. Amen. Remember it, three months, three months, let it stick in your head. Amen. The sword of the enemies has overtake thee. Or else three days, the sword of the Lord, even the pestilence, in the land and the angel of the Lord destroyed throughout all the coast of Israel. Remember, remember we spoke about the angel of the Lord, the destroyer, Samael. This is he who stood over Israel. According to the Jewish belief. Amen. 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 Samuel is an angel that God sends out to bring destruction to sinners. Amen. To the disobedient, the unrighteous. Amen. 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 Now therefore, advise thyself. What word shall I bring again to him that sent me? So listen to this. The connection David had with God was not severed. Amen. That God the prophet, the seer, G.A.D., was now speaking unto God on the behalf of David. Amen. David separated himself from God the moment he numbered Israel. Preacher. 
Come on. Amen. So the prophet God and it is go to the message to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 13, and David said unto God, I am in a great strait. He said, I know what to do. Any option I take. Any option. Any option is this welcome. Just like the nation right now. Amen. But you to look at, at our nation situation. Our economy. Amen. Amen. Has been destroyed. Amen. No resources coming into oil. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. The only people that are really striving in this time is the one percent. Amen. We sent us to buy a, a few bags of cement and we couldn't get them in any hardware. Amen, somebody. Amen. The one place we found them was sixty dollars a bag. From 45 to 60. The, those who the society call the 1%, the rich is getting richer. Amen. The middle class who have saved up their finances, their bank accounts are running low. Amen. And the poor is getting poorer. Amen. So it's either coronavirus kill them, bandits kill them, poverty kill them, Amen. Oh, hunger kill them. Amen. Come on, David was in that same situation. Amen. Three years famine, three months being destroyed by the enemies of pestilence in the land. But you know what David said? Come on, this again is what made David had a heart like unto God's own heart. Come on. Amen. Verse 13, and David said unto God, I am in a great strain. Let me fall now into the hand of the Lord. For, for very great are his mercies. David said, I rather, I rather put my life at Israel under the wrath of God than to fall under the hand of my enemies. Amen. Or the three years of famine. Let God do what he has to do. And I will believe more in the mercy of God. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Amen. David, rather let God judge him. And let man on nature judge him. And he trusted in the mercy and in the grace. And in the love of God. Amen. Even though he had sinned. Amen. He knew how to repent and depart quickly. Amen. Come on. Amen. So verse 40 says that the Lord sent pestilence upon Israel. And there fell of Israel 70,000 men. So the plague destroyed 70,000 men. Come on. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. But I tell you, David knew how to seek the face of God. How to seek God's mercy. How to seek God's grace. How to seek forgiveness. This generation, we're not seeking mercy. We're not seeking forgiveness. We are coming to, for God for confirmation, not rebuke or correction, not repentance. We want. God to confirm that we are on the right path. We don't want to hear that we are wrong. We don't want to hear we have made a mistake. We don't want to hear we are faith. We don't want to hear the cover from what we are. We want some false prophet, some teacher to agree with us and to confirm our lifestyle. Amen. That's right. Praise him. The, the, the king. Hallelujah. Amen. The king, Samuel did that. He sought confirmation from a witch. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what many believers are doing today. When, when, you, when a, a, a true prophet speaks to you, you reject that word. And you find yourself in the midst of false prophets and false teachers. Dragging on the hill as he can live comfortably in sin. Mm -hmm. 
picture. But the Bible said, hold on. So we continue to abide in sin and grace in your God, God forbid it. David understood that he could not abide in sin and grace me about. How do you come out of sin and find mercy and grace? Truly repent. And what repentance means? Many people think repentance is saying a sinner's, a sinner's prayer. Repentance is, is not doing it anymore. If you're living in adultery for 8 months, 10 months, 12 months, 15 months, 3 years, you stop it, you come out of it. And you don't do it no more. Amen. That is repentance. Amen. What I used to do, I do it no more. If I was rubbing, teething, what I used to do, I do it no more. Glory to Jesus. Lamb of God. Verses 15. God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroyed, the Lord beheld. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Let's read it again. And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, the Lord beheld. And he repented him of the evil. And said unto the angel, that destroyed it. Amen, somebody. It is enough. Stay on that and hold it right there. Come on. Why did the Lord repent? Why God was about to destroy Israel? He repent of what he brought upon Israel because of David repentance. Amen. We can stop what is coming in this nation. It, after three months, when this nation has reopened, it can be worse than 116 oh confirmed cases and eight deaths. It can be worse because there is not a vaccine. And science they cannot understand this COVID-19, this disease. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Come on. Amen. But we can stop the soul of the judgment. We can stop the four horsemen. We can buy time for grace. Because the Lamb of God cried out and said, Hold not the oil, not the wine. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. And the angel of the Lord stood by the trusting floor of honor, the Jerusalem. And David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord. David said, I will lift my eyes onto the hills from whence cometh my head. My head cometh of the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. The Lord was neither slumber nor sleep, but the Hallelujah. David lifted up his eyes and saw the angel of the Lord standing between the earth and the heaven. Where was the angel standing? Between, between the earth and the heaven. Having drawn his sword in his hand, stretching over Jerusalem. Then David, then David and the elders of Israel who were clothed in sackcloth fell upon their faces. They were lamenting. They were, they, were, they were praying. They were repenting. They were seeking the face of God. And God opened his eyes to see the angel with the sword and the judgment of God. And while David was in sackcloth and action, he fell upon his face. And David said unto God, Is it not I that have commanded the people to be numbered? David admitted his sin, his wrongdoing before all. There are people who are ashamed to admit that they are sinners. They are, they, I am wrong. I have failed. I have come short. Because of pride and pride coming before a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. But David didn't care about pride. He didn't care that he was king. Come on, somebody. He just wanted grace. He just wanted mercy. Amen. He just wanted forgiveness. Amen. He just wanted to make it right with God. He just wanted his love to be right with God. He wanted his relationship to be right with God. He wanted his walk to be right with God. Amen. He wanted his nation to be spared. He said, it is I who have sinned, not to have, not the people, it is I. Amen. Hallelujah. He did not allow it to be carried on for days and for weeks and for months. He saw himself. He made it right. He didn't care about the spider himself. He cared about his relationship, his walk with God, his life with God. That's why many homes and families and marriages are destroyed because of that same pride, that same spirit. But what made David? That's why many spiritual relationships with God are destroyed and people have to bite themselves and walk away from God because of that ego that, that in the area of their life uh, is not submissive unto God. Amen. But the Bible says if we humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God, in due time, He will lift us up. The Bible says He shall resist the proud and give grace, grace, Grace is to the humble. Favor is to the humble. Pride will only make you feel powerful and make you feel in charge. Amen. But grace, humility, super exceeds pride. Because humility brings favor, brings love, men's relationship, men's homes, men's family, fix problems. Amen. Brings the favor of God in your life. He resists the proud and give grace to the humble. To so humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due time, He's going to lift you up. Come on. Hallelujah. <coughs> Glory. He said, Let thine hand, I pray thee, O Lord my God, be upon me and upon my father's house, but not on thy people, that they should be plain. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Then the angel of the Lord commanded God to say to David that David should go up and set up an altar. The dressing floor of all man the Jebus side. And David went up and the saying of God which he spake in the name of the Lord. And all man turned back and saw the angel and his four sons with him. He themselves. Now all man was in the dressing wheat. And as David came to one man, all man looked and saw David and went out on the dressing floor and bowed himself to David with his face to the ground. Then David said to Anna, Grant me this place of this dressing floor, and I may build an altar thereon unto the Lord, that thou shalt grant it to me for the full price, that the plague may be stayed from the people. Two things. That is very important in this message. We come to the end. You can finish reading at your home. But the building of any altar, there is a price. And David understood that. David didn't want an altar free. Preacher. An altar will cause the plague to stay away from you. Amen. And the blessing to come upon you. Amen. But to build an altar, to have a walk with God, to bring revival, to find favor, they're going to be a price. Amen. Salvation is free. Amen. Come on, someone. Come on, even when God was judging Israel, God didn't say that was the end for David. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. David was still blessed and anointed of God. Come on. Amen. So you can have salvation and be foolish and be stupid. Amen. And faith is our stand, the structure of poverty. Amen. Because salvation 
doesn't bring you blessing. Salvation is the saving of one soul. Amen. Obedience brings the blessing. Amen. Obedience brings the favor. Obedience builds the ark of safety. Come on. And as I close this message, I'm closing with this. Are you building your altar? And are you paying the price to build the altar that plague and poverty be far from you and that God will provide for you? Or are you telling yourself, I am king. I am a child of God. I am anointed of God. I don't have to follow all the prophets saying. I can pray too. I can bless my own water. I can bless my own rock. Go and read Acts chapter 19, verse 11. Paul called them vagabond Christians. Own way. Amen. Everybody wants to be the head. Feature. Many are called, but few are chosen. Come on. Amen. God has put a five-fold ministry to be the head of the church, Amen. the head of the body of Christ. Apostles, prophets, teachers. Pastors and evangelists mm. to lead the people. Mm, that's right. the, that's, that's in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, and that is for the perfecting of the saints, for the unity of the faith, until we come to the knowledge of the perfect man, mm. the mm. knowledge of the Son of God. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. David didn't say, I am anointed a God. You can be anointed and get disappointed. Preacher. Come on, that's right. Isn't it? Because you can be an anointed fool. Preacher. Yeah, that's right. Isn't it? Hallelujah. Amen. King Saul was anointed. Amen. King Saul was anointed. That's right. Amen. King Saul was anointed. Amen. But he became an anointed fool. And when he became a fool, the anointing departed from him. And an evil spirit entered into him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. So do not become an anointed fool. Do not become high-minded. Follow the voice of God. And this time, build your altar. Pay the price to build your altar. Hallelujah. And uh, be obedient to find grace. Come on, somebody. Be obedient. Amen, someone. Amen. To receive the promises of God. The promises of God are there. It has been purchased with the blood of Jesus. But obedience is what brings it to you and keeps it in your life. Amen. The, the main storyline here is building your altar. Amen. That the plague will stay far from you. Do not be like King Saul. Be like King David. Do not be like King Saul. Be like King David. Amen. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Earlier on, I made a mistake. I said King Samuel. It's King Saul. Amen, somebody. Amen. Do not be like King Saul. Be like King David. Be quick to repent. Quick to see your mistakes. Quick to find forgiveness. Quick to pay the price. Amen. Quick to build your altar. Quick to walk in obedience. And the plague will still far from you. Remember, make your appointments. This is the last week and I am doing this. Get your anointed oil. The spirit your altar. Those of you, it's the spirit of God speak to you and you feel like you need it. Amen, somebody. 
and makes bottom contact with the Kelly. Amen. 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 And uh, amen, somebody. We will let you know what to do. Amen. Tell her I've already received one, but the Lord spoke in my spirit and here next one. Amen. Because I'm facing with the spirit of battles. Amen. 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 And we, we will seek the face of God for a day for those that need the next one to come. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you for your people. Yes, Lord. I thank you for all the viewers. Right. Touch them very yeah. Bring healing and bring the deliverance. Yes. Strengthen them. Yes. Loose them. Bring the fear of God in their lives. Yes. Bring conviction. Bring change. Bring strength. Bring peace. Bring blessing. Bring healing. Bring deliverance. Bring transformation. Strengthen them. Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. The mighty name of Jesus. We thank you for this word. And it stay in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Remember, share with everyone. Share this video. Like, share, subscribe. Tell people what Jesus is doing down here. Amen. Amen. And amen. There are so much testimonies. We're going to gather people if there's one at a time to, to come and share it with you. Do a live and take them one at a time to come and share it with you. To build your faith in this time. We said they have called upon him in the time of trouble. He shall show unto them great and mighty things that they know not of. Remember the anointed oil is limited. Make sure you get your bottle. Amen. Amen. And use it wisely. Do not miss use it. Use it wisely. God bless you. Have a great night. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen.